Nothing much. What's up with you? Well, I'm here too. <laughs> Bia's here too. You have oh, this. Hi. You have the camera. Our old camera. Mm -hmm. Pause. Before we continue any further, we might need a little background montage. This camera I'm holding is actually quite important. You see, I just found this old thing in a trove of old tapes that the three of us made when we were kids. You should get to know who us is. Firstly, there's Veronica. She's been my neighbor and best friend since kindergarten and was my partner in crime and imaginative companion since the start. Then there's my cousin Becca. We were born two weeks apart, and she was the only other girl I knew my age that I could be weird with. Needless to say, we've always been extremely close. Then there's myself, Fiona. A little strange, sometimes quiet, and sometimes loud, but always looking for the art and things. We used to go into my woods and film ourselves conquering our own imaginary territory, and that's what these tapes are. They're a little time capsule of our young selves and young surroundings, and there's something infinitely special about that. So I finally got a charger to turn on this camera. This was easily my favorite tape because I think it's the first one ever it, where it says like Veronica and Fiona playing. <laughs> and so as we watched that first tape, thus began our journey of delving back into our childhood minds. Our goal with watching these videos was to revisit the woods where we would play and see what had changed. In our efforts to reconnect with our childhood imaginations, I asked that the three of us construct amateur maps from memory of our woodland territory, and then try to recall their location and names to the best of our ability. Good maps. They saw our they memory. Were good and they overlapped somewhat. Becca's came out like I mean I was like, like the best. I was like, dude, she went hard. It was so good. Since Becca could only join us in spirit since she lived so far away now, Veronica and I went on our perilous quest ourselves. The first stop was Animal Island. This right here is Animal Island. And I know a long time ago we we carved AI, I think, on the key for Animal Island, but I'm sure it's gone now. But to our surprise, it actually was there. We really did write it. AI. I'm like, I'm surprised I even remembered that that's... Because I was like, I don't think we wrote our initials, but I know we wrote some initials. Animal Island. We're officially on Animal Island. This was easily the most exciting find. So, in memoriam of this moment, Veronica respectfully carved our initials into the tree where we had first carved the AI initials 12 years ago. So, as Veronica attempted to jump over what Becca officially named the Wet Sock Islands for their ability to always soak your shoes right through with mud, we decided to move onwards. Along our path, we were reunited with our first crucial marker, the little deer statue. Why is that deer not moving? She's still looking beautiful. After paying our respects to the grave of my old hamster, we found a growing fir tree that looked suspiciously similar to the rare plant species I claimed it was as a child. It's the very rare plant species. This is the rare plant species. And now look how he's grown. After some time, we finally got to the main island. This one was always our favorite. And all three of us remembered the crucial detail of the unstable log bridge that you had to cross to get to it. 
But this was where the unstable log ridge once was. It looks like it's decomposed and become covered in water. So of course this meant that Veronica and I had to make a new impromptu unstable log bridge. Veronica and I managed to climb over our even more unstable log bridge. And when we finally got to the main island, it was even more magnificent than I remember. Wow, this is beautiful. That right there is Robert the Doll Island. Like, I named Robert the Doll Island as just an island of sticks because I was currently obsessed with the story of Robert the Doll, mm -hmm. the, yeah, haunted, the haunted the doll. This water would have to freeze for us to get across, and we'd all sit on the inside. This would be Penguin Pond, where the lake would freeze, and that's a swamp really, but the swamp would freeze, and we would all slide on our bellies around like little penguins. V, do you remember like falling through the ice? No shit, I like... wrote a story about it in English class. <laughs> I plunged my leg through the oh, I wanted to throw up, it was wet denim. <laughs> yeah, it was a wet denim denim jeans. Oh, it was, it was water all, was in my boots. It was like all black soaked up to her knees. In the final part of our quest, we came across probably the most prevailing memory shared between the three of us, which was the monster that always haunted us every time we visited our playtime world. Could it be? Could it be? The sound? Here he comes. The monster in the box car. You wrote on your map the car box Tonian when it is the box car Tonian. Oh! Oh! Run, everyone! It's the box car Tonian! <laughs> the train was the unmistakable yet elusive beast made of box cars that could get you if you weren't paying attention at a moment's notice. To us, that train will always have one name. That's probably, that's probably, like, that day that we made all those videos is probably the most, like, vivid memory I have of, like, just hanging out in the woods. And even then, it's not that vivid, which is why I'm so glad, like, we have all of those videos to remember mm -hmm. by. Yeah. As cringy as it is, you know, it's still really cool it to look back fun. on. And maybe that's the little lesson in all of this. We could be grateful that we had these memories preserved. It was clear that the woods as we knew it had been deteriorating. Climate change has brought through a number of storms and seasons that have decayed some areas and covered others with brush to the point that they're impassable. Soon we may not even be able to go back. And maybe even then our memories will start to fail. But if we have these tapes forever, then we always can go back. And that tree will always bear our name as long as it's standing. And even if everything keeps growing and changing, we'll always have each other. <laughs>